What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Making It Real. Recently I noticed that we reached 200 subscribers. That's insane. Thank you to everyone here. Wouldn't be here without you. Give yourselves a round of applause. And while you're at it, why not pat yourselves on the back? You deserve it. Although, probably not that hard. Well, you probably noticed the name of the video, which is why you're here, but... I am going to be showing you this video, how to make, a drum roll please, the pen gun. A lot of you have been waiting for this. The last video where I asked if any of, any of you wanted to see how to make it, reached about 22,000 views. That's more than I expected um, and so I figured I should make it so here it is anyway I recently graduated from high school which means I'm back and better than ever so you've all waited long enough let's get to it so first things first we're gonna go to the hardware store and you can find all these pieces at your local hardware store and make sure to buy a 3 inches by 7.6 uh, centimeters barrel bolt, bolt. I already went ahead and did everything to this, but I'll show you how to do it in just a second. So first you're going to have to drill out the handle that they already have welded in here. And then you're going to thread it using a tap. So you can put a bolt right in here. Okay, and then up here, I just went ahead and super glued a nail head and cut it down, sharpened it on the end, so that is basically our firing pin. Now, let me show you how I did it. So you're basically just going to strap it in a vise, and that will hold it in place. All you have to do then is drill a hole right where the welded handle is, and you're done with that. Then all you have to do is thread it. Now next you want to buy two 3 8 inch bolts by half an inch or so. And one of them you can drill all the way through and this will be making your barrel. So I usually just use something that would be about the same size as it is around you can see kind of there and then just go ahead and drill that and also try to make it so that it's a little bit more center otherwise you'll be kind of skinning it from the inside out and you want to have as much metal on the outside and inside as possible. In that first video I did where I asked if any of you wanted to see how I did it, uh, that one was actually working off of caps, like for a cap gun, and this one will be actually be working off of a 12 gauge primer, and so this is going to have a lot more power behind it instead of a cap. As you can expect, this bolt isn't very long and the bolt is basically the barrel for this. So it's not going to be very accurate, it's just going to be a close range shot. And I would really recommend not to use this in air any airsoft war or anything like that because primers can actually be deadly if at close range. I also bought these springs and it's 0 0.8 by 50 millimeters and this is what I'm gonna be using for a spring for the gun okay after you've gotten one end threaded next you're gonna have to line it up like you see here this way you can tell how long you need to cut the pole and I'm gonna cut it about right here so take a marker or something and mark it up and take a Dremel and cut it.
Now, after you cut it, I didn't show it, but you're gonna have to uh, thread the other side too, and then you'll be done with threading. Now you wanna, after that, line it up again just like this, and go right here where the head, the, the part you're gonna be pulling back is lined up. So we're gonna mark it looks like right here, out there, and then you gotta kinda use your imagination now and in your mind compress this spring and kind of guess where this head is gonna end up. It looks like it's gonna end up about about right here for me I'd guess. Okay and then those two lines are where you're gonna drill. So let's go back to the drill. Okay, so you see I have the smallest bit I have in the house right now. We're going to use the smallest bit you have. And let's line up the lines with the bit. So go off with... Okay, after you have lined up your bit with the line, go ahead and turn it on. And this is where the patience comes through because you're going to have to go through a lot of different sizes of bits until you get the right size you want. So, let's get started. So after you've got those two holes drilled, you're going to go back to the Dremel and cut a straight line from here to here, line to line, until you got a nice socket cut out. Okay, after you've gotten that hole cut out, we're going to go back up to the the drill and we're gonna drill one hole right to the side right here and that will make uh, the locking mechanism so that it locks and all you have to do is push it over okay let's do that after you've gone that hole drilled all that's left is to assemble it and once you do you should be able to pull it back lock it in there it should spring forward just like a gun okay now we're just smoothing at the ends and be careful with this part because apparently metal gets hot after long periods of sanding okay, okay and we are done go and put it all together and let's go out and test it So we got our friend Bob here, and he's going to be helping us out. First up is the primer. Let's see what it does to this guy. Okay, burnt him pretty good. You can also use this as a triple arm by setting up a string and putting it somewhere someone can walk by. I have a ping pong ball on the end of this and this one's filled with uh, airsoft BBs. Let's see what happens. I filled this ping pong ball up with ammonium phosphate, which is basically the powder out of a fire extinguisher. Let's see what happens here. Wind's blowing this way. So, three, two, one. Well, that's it, guys. Hope you liked the video. If you did, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up. 
I enjoy making this and I'll keep making new videos. Thank you to all my old and new subscribers and I'll see you next time.